ass, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. In the coaching box during the game, re reminder he's in charge of the replays. I I'm looking at all of you at this table. I mean, Shefty, I'll start with you. Have, have you ever heard? Okay, never mind. I'll start with you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <sighs> I, I don't think I've ever heard of no. anything like this in my whole career being associated with the National Football League, where an executive is sitting in the coach's box and is in charge of the ch of challenge flags. Like, is he I, in, I, is he in is he in the game planning meetings? Like, I don't understand. I don't know Bruce Allen's football acumen as a strategist, but if you're going to be in the coach's box on game day and making those type of pivotal decisions, you need to be there when they come up with the game plan on Monday or after the game when they're working through and they're installing. You need to be there throughout. That inconsistency, I think, throws you off. You, you're not a fan who could just sit on TV and watch the replay because those losing those timeouts, making those decisions have impacts on a game going forward. And if I were a coach in that situation, I'd be furious. There's no way. And if I'm a coach looking to come into this situation later, like I know that Bruce <laughs> Allen or, and that Daniel Snyder want to get a big coach later on at some point. Shefty, it's going to be impossible yeah. to I, wanted, I want everyone behind the scenes. Shefty took a picture of the Why? screen while we were talking. What were you doing? I have my reasons. <laughs> what, what, what is your reaction to this story? I Listen, I, I don't like to ever cast doubts on another person's story. I, I'm surprised to hear that. I don't know that it's true. I'd have okay. to check around to see that it is before I could comment on it. Like, it's hard for me to imagine that that's true. If it is, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, I, I hope it's false. And it if they, if they want to hire a coach in the future, there is no coach who has options who would come into a situation like this where this is this in particular. Well, that's why this is significant, Laura, because this past week, not in the coach's box, but in the owner's box was <laughs> Urban Meyer. And if Urban Meyer is aware of this, then what? Yeah, listen, uh, he's not going there. I mean, there's no way that Urban Meyer goes and coaches this team if this is the... If you have an opportunity to get Urban Meyer there, it would be a good thing to get him there. Because he could bring the best out of Dwayne Haskins. One year under Urban Meyer, Haskins had had, had, a, had a good year under him. If y'all get him to come here and install his offense around Dwayne Haskins, I feel like he could change Washington in that system. He had to get a system that fits him. I think if y'all do hire him, let him have full control of the team. And he could get the best out of y'all quarterback that y'all want to be y'all franchise. And that's Haskins. I feel like he'll thrive in his system. Type of uh, delineation of power that they have. And I think we can all agree now that Urban Meyer must have just been hanging out in the owner's box and just trying to take in a nice National Football League game because otherwise there's no reason for him to be there. He's not going to go and coach the Redskins. Well, what is your sense of that, by the way? Uh, uh, Urban Meyer and the possibilities we hear yeah. connect in Washington, I, Dallas, other places. I think Urban Meyer is interested in coaching the NFL. I think he has an interest. Oh. I think he'd be open to talking to people about it. I don't know how much people will or won't speak to him. Certainly it's an intriguing game that's out there, but I think he is definitely interested in getting back or getting to the NFL if that... If the situation is right. If he can have a situation like he had at Ohio State, have full control of the team, he will go there. I feel like he owned that right. Even though he, ne I don't think he never coached in the NFL. I got to look that up. But he earned that right to... Have full control of a team. He show you he's a top contender coach that you're willing to go get to help try to change your team culture and help your team be successful. I feel like he earned that right to be able to have full control of a team, especially when he got former players that's on the roster that can help them out and benefit everyone around them if Haskins take that next Step next year if they hire Urban Meyer. For an option, he would sit down, he would listen, and if the right opportunity were to come along, I think he would be interested.
I see what niggas succeed in the NFL. I, I, I've been thinking about this a lot, and I, I remember earlier when this first became a story, the reaction was kind of like Urban Meyer can't go in and adjust his his skill set to to an NFL where you are not in complete control. They, they, they're doing all of this in the, in the NFL now. No, but I, mean, I think the argument against Urban Meyer was about the control thing because you're not yeah. gonna have full control when the players get paid as much as they do, and there's owners and there's GMs. But when I look back over Urban Meyer's career, it's been full of adjustments. It's been going from Bowling Green to Utah to Ohio State to Florida, and it's been full of adjustments all the way through. He's a smart guy, and I think more important than, str- than strategy is knowing how to run an organization. I think Urban Meyer is you know, He can build a program. Yes, but if there's one thing we can say of all college coaches, the successful ones in particular. It's like he's a successful coach. He just want to be in a situation where he had full throttle over the team. If they let him run the team how he wanted, your team will be a top-notch team if he had full control of, a, of that team. The owners just needed his own. The GM just needed to run the team and just allow him to build a, a system around the, the players he have on his roster. If y'all do hire him, that's all he probably want. If he can have full control like he had Ohio State if, he, if Washington hire him, if they gonna allow him to do what he want, so he could be able to succeed in the NFL. No, they are control freaks. Right. So he's gonna say, "Wait, who decides who goes to challenge?" <laughs> There's no and way that's that that's true. Happening. I'd that's... like to be in in that room when that conversation <laughs> takes place. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN.